we are successfully reading our note from the database. So we view, we run it, and we view notes, and we can click on our view note button, and we are successfully reading from the database. Now we just have to display it to the screen. And so this screen is called the note content screen, and we want to display the note title in that label and the note content in that label. And so we know how to do that. How do you display things to the screen? You just use set text. So we're reading the records already. And let's say we actually don't need this for loop. So this for loop would loop through all the records. But we are only going to get one record because we're searching by ID. So when we put this ID column and the value of ID in our read records in the second parameter of our read records. That means it's only going to return the row where the ID column matches this note ID. And these, this ID column, each of these values is unique. So there's only going to be one possible match. So this read records will return an array, a list of one record. So this for loop is for looping through a list of records, a lot of records, but we only have one. So uh, we don't need that for loop, but we do need to set text. We're going to set, uh, we're going to read, read from the database and we're going to set the information on the screen. So we do that with a set text. And I believe it was that label is called note title. Yep. There it is. There's the code completion. And what do we want to set the text to? We want to set it to records. There's only going to be one record in the list, so it's going to be at position index zero. So record zero dot. Uh, the first column is note title, so I want to use that dot note title. So we're setting the note title to the note title label. And then we are going to set the note content to the note content label. So I'm just going to copy paste. So I'm going to do shift command and the left arrow will highlight that whole line. And then I'm going to do command V. Whoa, that pasted it. That was something I was doing for a previous project. I wanted to do uh, command C. So when I ever, ever get in a situation like this, you can just do command Z and it undoes your last move. So I want command C to copy that. Then I hit the right arrow to unhighlight it. I hit return and I do command V to paste it. Okay, so now we want to do the second thing. We want to set the not the title but the note content label. And we want to set that label to the value of the first item in the records array, the item at index zero, which will be, uh, and we want the property, we want the note content property, right? So we want from the table the note content. And we're going to set that here in the content label. And I think that should do it. Let's run it. And we view notes. And we can look at this note. And it shows up on the screen. And uh, everything looks good. So that's probably enough to get started. There are more implementation details to come, but that is a load. It's it's only 52 lines of code, but there's a lot of real complexity in here. Um, so that's a good place to uh, get the Notes app started.